I just wanted to make a short little video. I'm outside here. It's November 9th, 2011. There's a full moon outside. The big bright star right beside the moon. We know there's hope. Salvation is near this time. The stars are shining. Can you feel it? Temperature is dropping big time here in Tennessee. It was a beautiful day. It's now about 40 outside. I just wanted to... I read something tonight that really, really got me thinking just with everything we've all been talking about and on this channel and everything that's going on, you know, with what's going on. But I was reading in the Bible, which I've read this a hundred million times, but tonight it just really, really felt like a door opened with it and just made me really think of just how big this really is that we're dealing with and why it had to happen. But it's where in Matthew chapter 5 where Jesus was saying that um, blessed are those that get persecuted and blessed when they're, you know, thrown the false allegations, how he will bless them, you know, if they're innocent and they're getting falsely blamed. When, when I really started to think about it, we know that child, you know, sexual abuse is the lowest crime looked at on the face of this earth and probably universe and probably whole Milky Way, whatever. We know that. It's, you know, it's, it's just that, that it, it is what it is and that's what it should be. But think about if somebody was falsely accused of that and made fun of in front of the whole world and put put to shame and just completely trashed what that would do to a person I mean just think if you was falsely blamed of anything we get we get angry if we're falsely blamed at you know just just anything just anything we, we're, we're all about the truth that's what the human being it's it's our essence, the heart of our soul. I mean, it's we want the truth. Well, if, if somebody lied about you and they put you on a pedestal and just kept trying to expose and expose lies, you know, think about what it would do. Think about it. Let's see what's happening here. Stephen Ray. I'm going to get back to him just in a minute, but think about it. And that's the one I'm going to be introducing to you pretty soon. I'm not ignoring him. Trust me, I'll get right back with him. We're very tight. He's the one who has multiple sclerosis. Anyways, where was I at? Th I'm think, think if you was falsely accused of something you didn't do, and it was the most heinous crime on this earth. All because you were doing the right thing. And the right thing is not profitable to man. The right thing is not accepted today. It's like it says, the chief cornerstone is rejected. You know? The truth don't stand no more. But it's going to. Because justice is being brought home. That's what's happening. And it's, it's so big. <laughs> it's so big, but it had to be big. It had to be big to really, you know, to really just set it off and make people realize and visualize and hear. Unless they hear with their ears and see with their eyes, you know, they'll never know. And we're going to keep being destroyed for the lack of knowledge, but the lack of knowledge, we're done with on that. There's no more excuse. We can talk to people worldwide in an instant. Whether it's on phones, internet, cell phones, whatever. TV. Technology's wild. So, I mean, we gotta spread it. And we gotta spread it in a world that's full of nothing but diseases. 
whether that's a disease of cancer or whether that's a disease of lying and not being honest that's a disease too forgiveness not being able to forgive that's a disease you know we're, we're surrounded by diseases it's just on how deep you want to really look at it you know and justice it, it, it has to be served on that party platter you know so everybody <laughs> realizes hold up I was deceived and wow there is a better way that's what it's all really about us finding that better way the way the way that only one man who has lived perfectly on this earth gave his life for and then was resurrected and then, then you know we'll get more into that later we're talking about Jesus there we're talking about Michael right now and him being accused falsely of the most worst crime in the world and the world had to hear his side of the story it's what I truly believe it's what I truly believe we're hearing right now it's just so big people aren't fully getting it but stuff starting not to make sense to them that the truth is starting to make sense <laughs> you know maybe that's what this is all about maybe it just had to get so wild that you know the sizzling is just and then it just gonna it's gonna boil over and that's the bam maybe that's how it is you know we're in the sizzle right before the encore maybe that's it I don't know I feel it I feel it and the stars do shine <laughs> and it's it's time it's time for his story to be told and once his story is told I truly believe we'll understand the deeper meanings of why we are here on this earth I really believe that and I have to believe that there's too much that God has did in my life and put me in so many situations and places and showered me with gifts and just everything that you know something big is happening and it's we're gonna get back to the way a lot of people ain't though a lot of people refuse to change a lot of people refuse to hear a lot of people refuse to see they just you know ah whatever that's what they do it's too much for them but we gotta be open we gotta be open and we gotta be open for something big that's gonna happen I really believe it and it's 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 on the verge and it's it's popping it's cracking and the truth will be revealed everything hidden it'll be uncovered the veil's ripped it's on you know it's on this is it thank you for listening thank you for all the comments some of y'all have sent me messages that's already just i mean it's it's unbelievable the amount of love people are pouring out so Let's keep doing what we're doing. And I just, I, I thank everybody, every, everyone who I've been talking to so far. I just, I thank you. And I pray that God blesses you and fills you with what you need to help others get filled with what they need. Because that's all I want to do. And I think that's what all we're supposed to do. That's what fills us. Our wallet will never fill us, you know, pills and drugs, and they'll never fill us. They never will. They, they wasn't intended to. They were only there to trick us, you know, that we were filled or are filled. We're not filled with them. We're made and intended to be filled with love. That's it. Thank you. Have a good night. God bless you. Peace.